role of person. This was his first time that he actually spoke to the media. He took to the helm over at Volvo just in September time. He said, listen, our horizon is about six to ten weeks. We spoke about his outlook for Europe, the U.S., and was this really his worst-case scenario? For next year, we see a decrease in, in the heavy truck market of around 10 percent. So, so it, it is a slowdown for sure, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it, it's a 10 percent slowdown. Would, would that be your worst case scenario? You've put all those facts together. Do you think that that's the worst case call for you for, for 2012? Uh, I would like to be very clear that that is our call as we see it today, um, pulling all the facts and, and, and estimates that we have uh, together. So it is what we can see today. We have around a visibility of six to ten weeks in, order, in our order backlog. And uh, when we take all the facts together, this is what we see. Now, contrary to that, you've got the U.S. You're scaling up your view there. You say that growth is going to come in the form of 20 percent. So can, can we take it from that, that America is going to come out of this slump more quickly than Europe? You're more optimistic about your U.S. sales. I think what we see on the truck market in the U.S., and, and we have to remember that is a specific market, is that we see more and more replacement. Uh, our customer sees that our new products with more fuel-efficient technology and, and more advanced technology makes a good buy to switch from old to new trucks. So we see a lot of replacement demand in in U.S. And it's also very important to stress that we see it on the long-haul segment, on, on moving goods. We don't see any pickup uh, even uh, also next year when, we, when it comes to construction. Now, more recently, we've had um, production cuts announced by Scania, one of, one of your main competitors. Are there production cuts to come in this coming quarter uh, at Volvo? In the coming quarter, we, we see now that our production slots for the fourth quarter, both in, both in U.S. And, and in Europe and, and also in Latin America, is pretty much filled up. Uh, but we do see in Europe that lately, in the last weeks, we have had an order intake that is somewhat lower than our production uh, pace, uh, which means that we will have to, in beginning of next year, then adapt our production pace in accordance with our new estimate, which is then down 10 percent on a full year in, in Europe. The strength of the Swedish krona, I noticed that it, it, it had quite a substantial impact on your numbers, 1.8 billion uh, Swedish krona. Is that a big concern for you, the strength of the Swedish krona as you look towards 2012, and are you hedging? We, we are, of course, using and we have a hedging policy, but I think strategically it's, it's very important. If you look at the numbers as percentage, again, construction equipment that has the largest impact on that. And our strategy is now to localize more of our production. We are localizing in U.S. by 2014. We should have most of the products up and running in U.S. produced there with a sub-supply network. We do the same in Brazil, India. We have it already in China. And by that, we would then be secured uh, for the flow impact of the currency, uh, currency impact. And that is our long-term strategy.